Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's For Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. In our household, it's me, my husband, and our six-month-old baby. And we've been focusing on trying to use up stuff from our freezer, pantry, and refrigerator. And this week is no different. We are starting off our week with quesadillas and I had everything on hand. So let me show you what I used. So we are having some excuse me, some rice and charro beans, and here's the quesadilla. So the rice came from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas, and it's only in Texas. Unfortunately, it's not in, in my part of Texas. So once a year, I make a trip to HEB to buy some of my favorites. They were having their rice, and we're also having their charro beans, which my husband and I really love. These are the only beans that I have ever bought from a can that I don't need to doctor up. I literally don't do anything to them, and these are the only ones that are like that. And what else are we having? So we're having the quesadillas, and I just use these extra large um, tortillas, and I just fold them over, and I added in this Zesty Ranch cheese that I had in my freezer that I needed to use, and then this um, real chick these grilled chicken breast strips that I picked up from Aldi. Um, these were actually in their frozen section and so my first time using them was today. So I took out some strips and then I thawed them out and then I chopped them up and they're really good. They have a great flavor. I definitely think these are gonna be one of my go-tos from Aldi now. Um, what else? And then, um, let me show you. So this is my husband's plate. He likes his beans on top of his rice. He's got his quesadilla right there with sour cream. This is my plate. I like my stuff all separated. So here is my quesadilla. And then I plan on adding this salsa to it. Um, this salsa is from Aldi and I've talked about it before on one of my favorites videos and I'll link it so you can check out the other things that I like. Um, but this is it. This is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making some homemade fettuccine. It is so easy to make and I wish I had realized that years ago. Um, I do still use the jarred sauce, you know, just when I'm in a hurry. But what I've done in my heavy skillet here is I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. I let it come to a simmer and then I added in um, about half a bag of this uh, Parmesan cheese six ounces, so I added in about three ounces. I added in some garlic, and what I'm getting ready to do is add in my cooked fettuccine. It's about half a box, it's about eight ounces of cooked fettuccine that I boiled in heavily salted water, and then once I add in the fettuccine, I'm gonna add in the rest of the Parmesan. I've sauteed some broccoli on the side and I'm making some garlic bread and getting ready to throw that in the oven. So as soon as I have everything plated, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here is the fettuccine Alfredo. I think I said earlier I'm making homemade fettuccine. I meant homemade Alfredo sauce, but here it is. So easy to make. So I added in the fettuccine, just like I said, and then I added in the rest of the rest of the Parmesan cheese, and then I just stirred it all together, and here it is. It's so rich, so creamy, so easy to make. I'm just waiting on the garlic bread to come out, and then I'll plate it up for you guys. So here is everything all plated up. There is my stir-fried broccoli, and this is the broccoli that I used from Trader Joe's. I actually just went there and did a haul today, so by the time this video comes out, the Trader Joe's haul will be out, so I'll make sure to link it so you guys can see what I picked up. And here is the um, fettuccine Alfredo. Y'all, it's so easy to make. I mean, honestly, it's so easy to make. It's so rich and creamy. I don't add any additional salt to this. Once I heavily salt my pasta water, um, the, to, for us, the Parmesan cheese um, adds enough saltiness to it. But like I said, I did add in some garlic, so garlic is in there. And that's it, it has a really good flavor. For our um, garlic bread, I mentioned last week with that when I have leftover hot dog buns, I throw them in the freezer and I use it for garlic bread. So that's what I did today. I just toasted them with this garlic spread um, that I had in the freezer. I'd actually forgotten that I had it, had it in the freezer. So if y'all grocery shop as much as I do, definitely do inventory. <laughs> once or twice a week just to double check and make sure what you have in your fridge, freezer, and pantry. And then the fettuccine that we used um, was from Kroger. Like I said, I used a half of a box. 
which is 12, this is a 12 ounce box, so I used half in order to make um, all that fettuccine. So this will definitely be enough for leftovers for us. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made some Asian food. We are using stuff um, from our freezer. So I made some beef mandu or beef bulgogi uh, mandu actually, and it is from Costco. We've had this before, we really like it a lot. Um, they are extra large dumplings and I always pan fry mine. So that's what we have here. And then I made a little side of homemade lo mein. I just used two packages of the cheap ramen the kind that's like 20 cents, and I boiled just the noodles, drained the noodles. I did not use a seasoning package, but I did saute the noodles in some sesame oil to keep them from sticking. To that, I added some shredded coleslaw mix. It was just cabbage, no um, carrots were in there. And then I also added some green onions. I added some soy sauce, hoisin sauce, teriyaki sauce and uh, here it is right here and these noodles do refrigerate well so we do have enough for leftovers probably for lunch tomorrow and then i am just using up the leftover broccoli from yesterday that i had in my fridge for dessert i went to my pantry i had this um, box of texas sheet cake mix and this is not the traditional sheet cake it's actually the pecan praline so here is what it looks like it actually does look like the picture. So here's the cake, I took a piece out for you guys. Here's what it looks like on the picture. So there it is. Um, Howard really likes it. I think it's just okay. I'm not crazy about the texture of the cake. If you've never had Texas sheet cake, it's kind of like a cross between cake and brownie. But I do love this praline icing. That is really, really good. Not crazy about the cake part. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time hey guys so for dinner tonight we are having some grilled hamburgers howard grilled out for us uh, we are using frozen hamburger patties from sam's club they are a third pound burger sirloin sirloin burger and so this is howard's plate if you've been watching our channel you already know he is the king of avocado so on his burger he has a piece of uh, colby jack cheese from aldi and then his burger avocado and then he has some bacon ranch on top we're also having french fries the steak fries are from aldi as well we really like these a lot so this is a one pound bag and normally i use half a bag per meal so we're finishing up the last of these steak fries this is my plate and all I have on mine um, is the Colby Jack cheese. I don't really like a lot of condiments and things like that on my burger, but the, bur the bun is toasted, um, as you can tell. And what I added to my bun was this French onion butter from Sam's. And it has Asiago cheese and I just thought that would, you know, have a good flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I had a change of dinner plans tonight. We are actually having rotisserie chicken, which is not what I plan to make, but Tom Thumb is having a sale on their um, chuck roast, $2.77 a pound, and I wanted to jump on that deal. So I went to Tom Thumb to pick it up, and I happened to check my app to see if I had any rewards, and lo and behold, I had a reward for a free whole rotisserie chicken. So that's what I decided to pick up. So um, I made some sides. So in our freezer, we had this steamer corn that you make in the microwave. And then we also had this creamy garlic shells that I had in the pantry that I needed to use. And here is the chicken. And Howard and I both like dark meat, so we both got a leg thigh combo. Um, and so here's the shells right here in the corn, and here's the chicken. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.